Denner is just starting to stretch his lead a little bit, but that, I would imagine, is Mansell just taking that little breathing space because it's much too wearing on both man and machine to drive right under somebody uh, else's rear wing for any time, length of time, and you really only move that close when making a challenge. So I don't think Mansell is really slipping back. I think he's just moving back to get comfortable because right now he's not, there's no point in him making a challenge. Mansell would appear to be doing exactly the right thing. Now there's a mistake, and that looked like Patrese coming past Berger. Yes, and there they are. So, first, Senna, second, Mansell, Riccardo Patrese, the Italian veteran, has moved in the second, williams Renault up into third position. And Mansell starting to press out in Senna. Yes, indeed, and that's the leader, and Mansell has now got psychological and practical support from Riccardo Patrese. And I don't know whether Ayrton Senna will know, and if he does know, he can't do anything about it. We're on lap 11 so far, and you can see that Nigel Mansell is really breathing down the rear wing of Ayrton Senna's McLaren now, and he's getting into a position where he could attack. And now, is this going to be Mansell's chance? And he's waving Patrese. Th is he waving Patrese through? Yes, he is. He is. It's all Nigel Mansell's hand come out of the cockpit. That Mansell has a problem. I can't see him willingly let Patrese through unless he has. No, I don't think that necessarily means that, that he's got a problem. Uh, I think probably that he felt that Patrese is quicker than him. Patrese, after all, came up on him very quickly once he got past Berger. He's pressed him all the way. And I think what Mansell wants is to see if Patrese can, can succeed where he has failed in getting past Ayrton and Senna. After all, Nigel has tried for many laps. He's been well placed. He has not been able to do it. It may be that Patrese has a little bit of a different setup in his car, or maybe his engine's working a bit better, and because, above all, Williams need Senna not to win this race. If Patrese can get in front of, of Senna, then, the, then he can help Mansell, and this may be very good team tactics indeed. Yes, you see, the other thing is, the biggest, the biggest difference in points is between first and second place, and if they can take first away from Senna, then at least Mansell would only slip back a, a couple of points if, they, if he was third to send a second, rather than four. So the, there is a big difference. But from Senna's point of view, I don't think uh, if push comes to shove, he'll fight Patrese uh, very hard, or certainly won't take any risks over it, because so long as his, his job is to finish in front of him. It's a very good move by Mansell, because it's enabled him to sit back, have a little bit of a rest, and he looks extremely comfortable where he is, and as I say, he can always ask Patrese to move out of the way at, towards the end of the race if they're still both behind Senna and pick up the extra couple of points again. And if he, can, and if he won't do it, uh, uh, he can ask the, Frank Williams to order Patrese out of the way. And uh, that depends on uh, uh, what the structure is within the team, and we can't know that. He's still Alain Prost. Once again, Ricardo, Ricardo Patrese diving to the left, diving to the right, but still he can't find an opportunity to get past from the Retifilio. They approach that at some 185 miles an hour, exit it at about 160, and across the line again to complete lap 24. Senna, Patrese, Mansell, now the quickest man on the circuit. 127.015, just over 149 miles an hour. And that is eight tenths of a second of Ayrton Senna's 1990 McLaren Honda V10 record. Yes, so uh, uh, I think that's the fact that Mansell just put up the fastest lap of the race and uh, seemed to be able to move back onto this pair's tail very easily. Uh, underlines the fact that there is nothing wrong with his car. He's uh, absolutely fine and he is uh, using the luxury uh, of his situation and having a fully competitive teammate with him to do the attacking of Senna and that's a uh, very intelligent uh, tactics by Manson. The temperature here is about 26 and it was 30 and Patrese going for it now. Yes, that's the closest he's been out of the Lesmo. Patrese, he's right in the toe. This is a chance and he's inside. Patrese takes the lead. Now, let's see if the McLaren Honda has looked stronger in a straight line. Can... Chicane. He certainly won't be close enough to have a go back at Patrese there. And of course now Mansell's got the problem that at the moment Senna is in the toe that Patrese is offering, which will make Senna in fact more difficult for Mansell to pass. So there's a problem they might have a thought of for the moment. But if Patrese can pull away, 
that too will go away and at that stage Mansell cannot Mackenzie is pulling away now and if Nigel Mansell can get past Ayrton Senna he will be able to do the same thing. I have little doubt that his Renault V10 engine will have just the same horsepower as Patrese's. And then Ayrton Senna would have a major problem. Because Mansell could get past Patrese on orders or on merit. And that would mean that the gap... Oh, that's Patrese spinning! Patrese has spun out down to third position. Gerhard Berger is catching him and Patrese's got to get the momentum on again. And now the attack is down to Nigel Mansell as he goes down that uh, Patrese had there was that he may have been running a little bit less wing than, than Mansell therefore make, thereby making his car a little bit quicker in a straight line because while Mansell has, has lined up many times as Hackenham there in the foreground there Mansell, Mansell switching brilliantly selling the dummy and uh, he went to sell the dummy to Senna and that's uh, a tactic that Mansell has uh, made but almost his own but this time it didn't work this is a problem for Senna through the Lesmos because if he gets delayed, he's backed off so he can get a good run through the second one and that's good driving by Senna. He did not get too close, but he'll want the tow from Griard's car, which he's getting. And I think in the confusion, Senna is going to study the comparative performance of the Brabham Yamaha and the McLaren Honda now. As Senna dives out of his slipstream, Nigel Mansell does exactly the same thing. Into the Parabolica for the 32nd time. And it's interesting to see Senna duck back in front of the Brabham then, and that was to stop Mansell following Senna and getting the benefit of the tow. And that was good professional driving, although it looked a bit messy as if Senna was weaving around on the straight. He was, in fact, doing something uh, tactically important as Mansell is in possession to challenge. He's going down the inside, and Senna locked his uh, left front there just as he turned in, but he had it under control, but that was... We've got the two top men in the business at the moment absolutely on the limit, battling wheel to and wheel. And Mansell really, as he did before, pushing tremendously hard as they come out of the Retifilio. And this is his opportunity as they come up to the Rosia, the second she came. And they really are on the limit. There's car smoke then as we joined them in the chicane. And clearly there have been uh, locking brakes in that battle for the entry into the Retifilio. And Senna coming under the ultimate pressure now from Nigel Mansell. It really is maximum pressure. And Gerhard Berger is lapping just as fast now as Mansell has another look. Senna resisting the pressure as he has done and goes past the Tyrrell Honda. Up to the Ascari bends and now to Mansell. Is he going through and taking the lead on this occasion? Yes, he is. Mansell leads in Italy as Patrese did. And I would not expect Nigel Mansell, who now is in a position to get ten points and Senna to have six, to do what Riccardo Patrese did. And that is spin off. Has Senna locked up? Is he going off? No, that's a replay. That was the smoke that we saw at uh, Retifilio uh, on the previous shot. And here we see again another replay, and this is Mansell ducking out of the toe, and clearly Senna is struggling now for grip. He's fought as well as he can, but I would expect Mansell now to be able to go away pretty comfortably from Ayrton Senna. And in fact, if that's probably Senna in for tyres, we can't see. And that's Senna on a very fast stop by the McLaren team indeed. So Ayrton Senna on to pressure. I think it was a fabulous race to watch. It was a fabulous race to be in... Uh... It was a great fight at the beginning between Ayrton, myself and Ricardo. Uh, I wasn't sure whether Ricardo was my teammate at time, one time or not because he was pushing me very hard when I was right behind Ayrton. Then I decided to let uh, Ricardo go because uh, I wanted him to uh, duck and dive with Ayrton to use his tyres up. So I dropped back then just to conserve my tyres in my own airflow, which, which worked real good. And then I woke up a little bit uh, when Ricardo got past. I thought, OK, fine, I'll be there. Go for it now.